The UK's accession to a European scientific research scheme could be at risk over the ongoing tense row with the Northern Ireland Protocol. The UK is currently negotiating to become an associate member of Horizon Europe, one of the most ambitious science funding programmes in the world. But EU Research Commissioner Maria Gabriel told MEPs the UK's separate accession talks could become embroiled in the broader political issues surrounding the post-Brexit trading arrangements for Northern Ireland. The protocol, part of the Brexit divorce deal agreed by the UK and Brussels, effectively keeps Northern Ireland in the EU's single market for goods. This means checks on goods being sent from Great Britain into the single market in some cases could result in prohibitions on certain products that do not comply with EU rules. But following unionist anger over the protocol at Stormont, Brexit Minister Lord Frost put forward plans to renegotiate the protocol, which he set out in a command paper this summer. Tough negotiations are currently ongoing with the EU to find a solution with UK ministers threatening to trigger Article 16, a safeguard clause in the Brexit deal which allows either party to take unilateral action if there is an unexpected negative effect arising from the agreement. UK ministers agreed on terms of association of the Horizon programme in June and are becoming frustrated over the long delay to the programme. A UK government source added, this hold-up from the EU has gone on for longer than expected, we need some clear answers. Richard Lockhead, Scotland's employment minister said the UK's membership of Horizon was essential. He stressed, 1,000s of Scottish researchers and innovators in limbo, worrying over the future of many of their programmes, teams, organisations, and even their careers, that might sound overly dramatic, but consider the amounts involved. Scottish organisations have won €711 million Euros of EU funding from Horizon 2020 since the current programme began in 2014, a higher proportion relative to population than any other part of the UK. That's roughly 10% of all Scottish research spending in that time at universities alone, a sector supporting around 5,000 full-time jobs annually. Universities have benefited the most, but also NHS boards, research institutes, SMEs and others. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.